Let us now take the first model from LCM and HCF where we are going to solve basic questions from this topic. The first example here is what will be the smallest number divisible by 6, 8, 18, 24 and 36. So we need to find out the smallest number which is divisible by all the given numbers. We know that LCM is nothing but the smallest number or the least number which is divisible by all the given numbers. So very clearly here we need to find out the LCM of the given numbers. So the answer here should be LCM of 6, 8, 18, 24 and 36. And as we have already learned whenever from the given numbers if there is a number which is a factor of some other number then it can be striked off from the calculation part. So here if you observe the number 6 is a factor of 18 so it can be cancelled. Similarly 8 is a factor of 24 so even 8 can be cancelled and 18 is a factor of 36 so even 18 can be cancelled out from the calculation part. So instead of finding out the LCM of all the 5 numbers we can directly say that the answer should be LCM of 24 and 36. Why because all the remaining numbers are already a part of 24 and 36 since they are factors of these numbers. Now the answer for this question should be the LCM of 24 and 36. So LCM of 24 and 36 as discussed can be taken as follows. Now here let us start with 2. 2 if we take the quotient for 24 is 12 and for 36 it is 18. Again if we take 2 we get 6 and 9 and then if we take 3 we get 2 and 3. Now after doing this much of calculation we know that we need to take 2 ones. So that this gives a quotient of 1 and then we have to take 3 so that this gives a quotient of 1. So very clearly the LCM would be the product of all these numbers now. So the answer is 2 into 2 into 3 into 2 into 3. We need not waste our time in writing down the remaining 2 steps. That is taking 2 and then 1 3 and then taking 3 and writing 1 1. That would be a waste of time. So simply take the product of all the numbers to get the answer. So 2 into 2 is 4. 4 into 3 is 12, 12 into 2 is 24 and 24 into 3 is 72. So we can say that the LCM of this 24 and 36 is 72. So a number which is exactly divisible by 6, 8, 18, 24 and 36 is 72. So this is how we can always find out the LCM by taking the common factors for the two numbers and the product of all these factors would give the required answer. One important point to be noted here is whenever we find out LCM for the given numbers it would always be better to take prime factors instead of composite factors so that we get the correct answer. So try to avoid taking composite factors on the left hand side and always go for prime factors like 2, 3, 5, 7 and so on to get the answer. Let us now take the second example from model number 1. The question is what is the largest number that can exactly divide 52, 65 and 143. So we need to find out a number which can exactly divide the given numbers 52, 65 and 143. And that number has to be the largest of its kind. As we have learned in HCF, highest common factor gives the largest number that can divide all the given numbers. So here the largest number that can divide the given numbers should be the highest common factor for these three numbers. So the answer here is nothing but HCF of 52, 65 and 143. And as we have learned to find out the highest common factor for three numbers we first need to find out the HCF of two numbers and with the answer and the left out number again the new HCF would give the HCF for all the three numbers. So let us first find out the HCF of 52 and 65. So going by the division method 65 should be divided by 52. So 52 1 times is 52 remainder is 30. Now as the remainder is not 0 the division process has to be continued. So here 13 becomes the divisor and the earlier divisor that is 52 becomes the dividend. So 52 when we take here we get the next division. We know that 13 into 4 is exactly 52. So remainder here is 0. And since the remainder is 0, the division process can be stopped here. And the last divisor that gave the remainder 0 was 13. So 13 is the HCF of 52 and 65. Now to find out the HCF for all the three numbers, we need to get the HCF of 13 and the left out number. That is 143. So 13 and 143, HCF will give the required answer. So here if we take 13 
to divide 143, we know that 13 into 11 is 143. So the remainder here is 0. So as the remainder here is 0, the highest common factor for 13 and 143 is 13 itself. So the answer here is 13. So overall HCA for all the three numbers here can be taken as 13. So 13 is a number which can divide 52, 65 and 143 exactly. One important point which I would like to mention here is when we are finding out the HCF of 13 and 143, we can understand that 143 is equal to 13 into 11. So as 143 is a multiple of 13, without doing the division, we can directly say that 13 itself is the highest common factor. As the factors of 13 are 1 and 13, the common factors can be only 1 or 13. And since 13 is a factor for 143 as well, that itself will become the highest common factor. So if we can realize that the second number is a multiple of the first number, then the first number itself can be taken as the highest common factor.